After a recent petition to legalize cannabis in the UK garnered more than 200,000 signatures, the government released a response saying they don't intend to implement the reform. However, Parliament must still consider debating the topic as the petition doubled the threshold required. In a statement posted alongside the petition, the Conservative government wrote, Substantial scientific evidence shows cannabis is a harmful drug that can damage human health. There are no plans to legalize cannabis as it would not address the harm to individuals and communities. It went on to say that the legalization of cannabis would not eliminate the crime committed by the illicit trade, nor would it address the harms associated with drug dependence and the misery that this can cause to families. According to the response, the UK's approach on drugs remains clear. We must prevent drug use in our communities, help dependent individuals through treatment and wider recovery support, while ensuring law enforcement protects society by stopping the supply and tackling the organized crime that is associated with the drugs trade. Peter Reynolds, president of Clear UK, called the government's reply dishonest, misleading, and deceptive. He added that despite the fact that the petition received more than twice the threshold required, MPs will fight tooth and nail to stop this being debated. Other supporters of cannabis legalization were more optimistic. According to Jason Reed, executive director of Law Enforcement Against Prohibition UK, while the debate may not make it to Parliament, there will be a preliminary debate, which hopefully we'll get MPs along to. He explained that this still serves a purpose on educating the public about the merits of drug law reform. There has been a groundswell of support and grassroots action, and the public are starting to get it. Despite the Conservative government's negative response to the petition, Parliament must still consider debating the topic of cannabis legalization as more than twice the required signatures were obtained. But based on the statement posted online, it's unlikely a real debate will occur.